Logan Paul has a full meltdown? If you guys thought KSI beefing with Dan TDM was sad, well, it wasn't even real beef, to be honest. Dan made one tweet and moved on with his life, while KSI started having a full-blown mental breakdown. And now, Logan Paul from the Paul Royal family is beefing with Tommy in it. So I'm going to say this. Logan Paul, right? Um, and KSI, the thing is that they need to realize is when you like, when you talk back or when you say stuff back and try to roast them, you're making it worse because you're adding fuel to the haters. You see what I'm saying? When you add fuel to haters and when you add, when you say something, people are going to criticize you. It doesn't mean if you're, if, even if you're hundred percent right, they're still going to think you're wrong. So like them doing this is just making, it's just embarrassing. You see what I'm saying? I understand that Logan Paul said he's a fighter. This is a theorization, not a statement. Um, and I'm going to tell you, like he said that, right? He likes sometimes when he, when people are making fun of him or saying certain stuff, he's going to clap back. But at the same time, it's not worth it. If you don't say anything, people are going to forget about it. But if you keep adding and adding and adding, people are going to keep talking about it. People are going to keep talking about it. And you're so big, you don't even need that. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. I might be wrong. Who's going to tell these money hungry goblins that beefing with Minecraft YouTubers is not a good idea? Mm. Oh, and Dan finally responded. It's so wholesome. And KSI could not hold himself that Dan finally replied, so he had something to say about it too. Okay. So let's dive into the Tommy in it and Logan Paul beef. It all started with Tommy in it tweeting, All right, I am done, along with a screenshot of Logan Paul talking about the Gaza conflict while promoting his energy drink. Prime. For those of you who don't know, this screenshot is from Logan Paul's podcast with Donald Trump. And during this part, where Logan's supposed to be discussing a serious conflict, he plugs his energy drink. It's honestly scummy when you think about it. So if you really think about it, he has a business, right? And when you have a business, you want it to be profitable. So what do you do? You market share it everywhere. You want everyone to talk about it. You want basically to make your investors happy because you're one of the heads of your company or you're the face of your company. So you plug your, your brand into your podcast, into your wrestling, into other sponsorships. Right. And this is what, and that's what you got to realize. So this is the problem though. When you do it during certain things, especially important topics, people get very, very upset and they do not like it. They think it's scummy, even though you're just trying to make it for your brand and people think you're trying to use them for money. But at the same time, like you need, you need to keep your investors happy. And I understand that, but talking about Gaza and all that type of stuff and then playing it in, I would say I would have to agree with the people criticizing him. But at the same time, um, I understand what he's doing. I don't know. I might be wrong though. Put it in the comment section. This conflict is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people, and Logan, being the good guy he is, decided to sneak in a promo for his dying energy drink brand, right where he knows the most people will be watching, all just to push Prime. Mm. Now, when people like Logan Paul try to act all nice and say, we're promoting a healthier and better for you product, and then pull crap like this, I really have to wonder, how do these guys still have fans? I mean, sure. The majority of their fans are kids, but these guys aren't even pretending to be nice at this point. Look at Mr. Beast, for example. He promoted his Feastables chocolate as a better alternative to Hershey's, and then turned around and changed the formula to make it worse than Hershey's. I didn't know that. I had no idea, right? And this is crazy. So, like, when they started in the very beginning, um, maybe they were trying to make it more healthier, but then they found out it wasn't profitable. So the thing you got to realize is they might be the face, but they might not be completely because if they have a board or if they have other owners, they're not making all the decisions. So can we completely blame Mr. Beast? No, but at the same time, it's pretty bad, right? Um, and you guys got to realize is like, oh, it's Mr. Beast's fault. He did this. He did that. He's the owner of Feastables. Hey, he might have 10 partners and 10 partners say, hey, we're now making a profit, Mr. Beast. We have to change it. And he's like, okay, there's nothing I can do about it because I only own a certain percentage of the company. He's just the face of the company. That's what you also got to understand. I might be wrong on this. Put it in the comment section. 
I genuinely think, just because Mr. Beast is involved with Lunchly, he's going to pull the same trick and make Lunchly worse than Lunchables, mm. and still have the nerve to call it a better-for-you product. Anyway, after Tommy Init tweeted that screenshot, it really set off low gangster Paul. So, what does Logan do? He starts leaking DMs to try and make Tommy Init look bad. Logan replied with, That offline glaze, though, along with a screenshot of their DMs. And in those DMs, it's literally just Tommy Init being a fan, showing appreciation for Logan. Mm. Honestly, this is where Tommy Init made his mistake. He showed respect and love to Logan Paul, but Logan isn't worth any of it. In mm. the end, he's the kind of guy who will take your respect and call it a glaze. It just shows how shady and awful of a person he really is. After that, Tommy Init clapped back hard with, If the same week I had a daughter, I also lost a beef with Tommy Init, I would kill myself. I'm going to say this, right? The thing about this is I feel like Logan Paul gets too caught up in the insults. He gets way too caught up. Um, and he thinks, hey, he's like, he's like, hey, like, like these people are making fun of him. And then he like wants, he knows that he can destroy him by sending this. And I, I've been saying this in the beginning of the video. Why answer, Logan? Why answer, bro? You see what I'm saying? You don't need to do that because like Twitter is the most toxic place on the internet. It is like Twitter is so toxic, right? That it's like, okay, so on Instagram and, and um, TikTok, you're just scrolling, you just see the videos and you look at the comment section and it's toxic. But on Twitter, it's just words. It's just people tweeting something like a, like a sentence and then people giving their opinion on it. It's just words. It's just toxic words sometimes. So like, I just don't understand what comes through his brain. I don't know. I might be wrong, though. You guys might roast me, but. And honestly, the replies to this tweet are hilarious. Not now, honey. Papa has to win this reply war. Mm. Like, damn, that's way too accurate. It gets even funnier when you actually imagine Logan Paul saying that. Then there's, I'm sorry, Tommy, in it. I was not familiar with your game. <laughs> and the one that really hit, yep, it's over. Go put his ass back in that forest. Hey, yo. Also, what's I funny doing here? Tommy, bro, unzip your pants. What? And of course, Logan Paul and KSI getting cooked by the Minecraft kids. But Damn. Logan Paul didn't back down. He replied with, Tommy is lashing out because I've been neglecting him. Sorry I didn't chill with you, buddy. Logan Paul is acting like the wow. slimiest piece of crap in this entire conversation. It's funny how he has his replies blocked because he knows he's going to get roasted, yet he still can't hold himself back from beefing with a Minecraft YouTuber. I don't even care if he's a Minecraft YouTuber because Minecraft YouTubers make a lot of money and it doesn't matter if they're, if they're a Minecraft YouTuber. It has nothing to do with that, right? It just has a, a person, right, just roasting Logan Paul. That's all it is. You see what I'm saying? Who cares, bro? Like, Minecraft YouTuber, I'm a COD Mobile YouTuber, someone else. And, like, the thing is... Logan Paul's so big and like him not trying to hang out with him. Like who cares, bro? Like at the same time, it's Logan Paul. It's like, yeah, he's cool to hang out with. Right. But at the same time, the chances of you hanging out with someone like that is pretty hard. You see what I'm saying? It's there's so many people DMing him or trying to collab. Like, I don't know. I might be wrong though. I might be wrong. You might roast me in the comment section, but if, even if the, if, even if you're like, yo, you're trying to collab and they never answered, who cares? Right. Even if you're texting, and they never want to hang out with you. You just guys are buddies. Who cares? Um, but yeah, let's keep moving on. After that, Tommy in it fired back with, why do you keep posting private messages of me being kind to you? Are you stupid? And you know what? That's a valid point. Mm. Imagine someone was nice to you and you use that to make them look bad. It makes no sense. I get that Logan is trying to say Tommy in it was glazing him in private, but those DMs are from a year ago. If Tommy in it was being nice to you and you're using that as an insult, that just makes you look bad, Logan. The thing is, it's from a year ago. If it was from last week, I understand, or even a couple months ago. But if it's from a year ago, your opinion on a person could completely change. So, like, yeah, come on, bro. And you know what? Even the comments are saying the same thing. Literally, like, all he's is proving that he is a shitty friend. Mm. Boss, I don't think he is 100% sure of how fucking stupid he looks, Dude, give him a break. He's only 29. Hey, yo. If we pulling up with old stuff, then... 
Dang. Potentially the funniest text of all time. Bruh. Then Logan what? Paul replied with, because you beg me for attention offline, then run to Twitter when I don't acknowledge you. Another fake internet kid. And Tommy in it hit back with, wow, you caught me red handed. I guess after that, Logan Paul ran out of DMs to leak, so he stopped replying and saved himself from embarrassing even more. Now, let's talk about how KSI is doing. After getting bullied on every single platform, KSI decided to share his feelings on Instagram. He said, Imagine spending so much time and effort making a song, only to have people repeatedly take the piss out of it online. I'm not gonna lie, that song is straight doo doo water. I'm not gonna lie, that song is straight doo doo water. And the thing is that people, don't, they think it's so bad. I mean, they don't want people to listen to the song. Why are you posting videos on TikTok? Why are you talking about the song? And this is the thing that blows me. If you guys don't like the song, you don't want it to blow up, you don't want it to be successful, then why talk about it? Why make videos about it? This is the thing. It's like, it's like basically, they're, it's marketing 101. He's getting a reaction out of you to publicize the song, to talk about the song, so the song gets more plays, he gets more credibility, you see what I'm saying? And Trippy Red also gets a hit, right? All marketing strategy, super smart, putting the logo for people to criticize you more. The hate culture, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, and the trolling and the negativity has been so strong online, it is ridiculous. And I understand why they do this type of stuff, but the song will say doo-doo water. This song will say doo-doo water, I'm not gonna lie. You see what I'm saying? I have music too, and I don't even release it, bro, because I know it's straight doo-doo water. Maybe one day I will, and people are gonna criticize me, but come on, bro. I get it's trendy to hate me right now, but can we move on? While a few days ago he tweeted, These stupid fans leave trash comments on my new song, think they're getting to me. You're not. It's not funny. It's boring. So, it's safe to say that they were indeed getting to him. Damn. This shit is so... Yes! Quit the music! Quit that shit! Yes! Turn that shit off! Turn that trash ass shit off! I'm sick of hearing that goddamn soul! I'm sick of hearing that shit! I'm sick of hearing that damn soul every damn day! Turn that shit off! I wanted to, nah, I wanted to talk to you though, like, oh, wait, 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 we gotta, we gotta bring that back, let me move my camera real quick, Let's, we gotta bring that back a little bit. I wanted to, nah, I wanted to talk to you though, like, on some real shit, like, I wanna, bro, like, I didn't, bro, you told me to stop doing music, I'm trolling, bro, relax, Dang. bro, yo, don't, I'm trolling, I, bro, I love your music, bro, bro, I be dead ass, sitting in my room, bro, Listen to the talk to a podcast, drinking prom, listen to your shit. Like, it gets me. You're taking a piss. You're taking a piss. No, I'm bro. not, bro. I'm this not. This is literally TikTok. I'm not, bro. I'm not taking this a piss. Bro, I'm brain being. Rock I'm, shit. I'm being. Everyone knew KSI. Bro, everyone knows that song was straight doo doo water. He was being. I feel like he was being truthful. He was probably doing a marketing stunt, right? At the same time, he he knew that everyone's crapping on KSI, so he's going to do it. He is signed the prime. So it's like an all. It's all marketing stuff. But at the same time, it was, dude, it's so freaking funny, and you could tell he's being genuine because that song, like I told you guys before, straight doo doo water. But I'm gonna move my camera back. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I was going mental after the backlash, but I guess he didn't realize it until now. He goes on to say, I might quit music altogether at this rate. Not gonna lie, man. What's the point? Honestly, this is way better than the fake laughing and all the coping and denying he was doing. Now that he's realizing he messed up, maybe he'll actually change and own up to his mistakes. To be honest, I liked a few of KSI's old songs. They were good, but this new song, it just sounds like something Nick A30 would release. And let's be real, it's still better than Nick A30's Never Back Down. That song is absolute garbage. Hey, yo. Sing it, bro. Why you stopping? Bro, I'm gonna bro, beat your mother ass, Bro, man. just... Stupid. <laughs> bro, your big ass nostrils. I can't wait to beat this out of you, bro. You stupid. To my you want? You wait, bro. Wait. Next time I see you, bro, beat. I'm beating you. Bro, bro. Then, no, you, can't beat, you can't beat me, bro. Say he about to have Nick Day 30 going. Oh my gosh. This is the thing, though. This is bad, bro. This is super bad. He said, I'm going to beat you up, bro. And they're part of the same team, bro. This is a marketing stunt. There's no way. Guys, there's no way this is real. <laughs> Crazy with this track. He about to have Nick 30 going crazy with this.
Nigga thought he about to be doing 90s, selling mm. family friendly candy with this track chat. My question is, does he have no one to tell him that making fun of Dan or dragging this situation out will only ruin his reputation? Mm. I think he won't trash Dan anymore. And while I was writing the script for this video, KSI replied to Dan, happy for you, bro. Knowing KSI, I'm pretty sure he's not actually happy. What he's just heck? accepted his defeat, and you know what? That's a good thing. It's a step in the right direction. I hope he gets some help. Happy for you, bro. Dang. Don't let the hate get to you, king. From the screen to the ring to the pen to the king. Where's my crown? That's my bling. Always trouble when I ring. What? And there you have it, folks. The KSI saga finally comes to an end. So this is going to be the end of the video, but I'm, I am going to say this. There's nothing we can do, guys, right? And I feel like, hey, maybe it's a marketing scheme. He's, he replies to Dan to get people talking about it, right? Or talking about him, about his new products. And he starts beef so people to talk about his new products so it gets out there more. But at the same time, he's lowering his representation. People used to be with KSI. They used to actually make fun of more of Logan Paul and say KSI was the better guy. But now it's coming out that KSI is the worst person um, or is just as bad, right? Authorization. No statements in here. But I'm just going to say, guys, this is this is pretty bad, guys. But I'm going to say this. If you guys have not subscribed to, I can't even say, Rage, Rage, I can't say your name. I'm so sorry if I blundered it. You guys not have subbed, like the video. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Go subscribe. Um, is it Raghib? I think it's Raghib. If you guys have not subscribed to Raghib, go subscribe to him. Go like the video. Turn on your notifications. Subscribe to him before you subscribe to me. But if you guys have not liked, subscribe and turn on your notifications for me as well, please do that. And if you guys disagree with anything I say, put it in the comment section. Be vocal. And I thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.